Hello and welcome back to Jarvis Johnson Gold, the premium channel that is free. Um, it is, it is free, but if you're watching this, you're premium. And today is a bit of a weird one. We've talked a lot about bad relationship advice, bad TikToks, the combination of those two things. Today, we're going to talk about an alpha male dating course guru named Alpha Dom. This person has been going viral on TikTok for all the wrong reasons. People have already handled it on TikTok. They've already, uh, you know, ripped this guy a new one. And I simply just want to observe and just, you know, throw my little sprinkling of a uh, salt and pepper that I can offer my special Jarvis sauce, <laughs> so to speak. That being said, one thing I want to call out um, up front, this um, dating coach, while they do have horrible opinions, they are relatively small for a creator. They only have like 7,000 followers on TikTok, which normally I wouldn't talk about someone of this of this size, but then there are so many of their TikToks have got like hundreds of thousands of views. And so their message is spreading and I don't like that. So it's, it's this weird, it's a weird, it's a weird thing. So I'm like suspending my normal rule of not talking about smaller people because you know, some of these things, some of these, I actually may try to watch mostly the popular, very popular ones. And again, don't harass this person. Uh, TikTok has got you covered on that. They're, they're doing everything you think you're doing and more. So don't even, don't even worry about it. Uh, just treat this as, you know, my own walk through uh, objectionable content. Don't, tap the glass, don't engage, you know? Don't talk to someone like that, especially on my behalf, because it's not what I want. Another reason to not engage is it's exactly what they want. And me engaging just in my video is is fine. It's if a bunch of people go out and watch and comment and hate watch or whatever, that's when it can become a problem. So don't even, don't give them what they want. I'm already doing that. Okay, the first video, I, and again, this is in heavy quotes because these are not my words. You don't always have to accept her rejection. From the jump, I'm gonna say, eh, wrong, sorry. Uh, you're wrong on the grounds of you're a guy talking in his car about what women want, which is, uh, that's actually how you summon a circle to hell. So I'll see you in Avernus, buddy. <laughs> Second, people, consent matters. You do have to accept a rejection. It's harassment if you don't. But I assume that that is just the clickbait. That's just the sensationalized topic to get you through the door so that you're already riled up when you watch this content that's gonna, uh, it's gonna break down the, the walls of your mind and, and teach you to see things the way he sees them. Probably not, but we'll see. You do not have to accept her rejection. Yes, you do. I already, he's not even keeping a straight face. Like I kind of don't even believe he believes what he's saying. So this might be like maximum grift. Like he's given himself a, a 20 in his grift stat. I'm making myself laugh because I'm making too many, I've been playing too much boulder skate. <laughs> I'm a professional dating coach and I teach guys how to understand the female mind. Okay, this is often what these people do. They position themselves as dating coaches. They say that they're teaching guys to understand something about women. I don't believe you. Looks are not everything. Um, looks can be deceiving. Never judge a book by its cover. But I do believe in judging uh, a book by its cover and the content of its content. So I guess we will continue to fill out our opinions here, but so far I'm off board. Oh yeah, also the description is, before you trigger, watch the entire video. So you need to learn not to always accept her rejection. He, I assume he's not like seducing women through text because homeboy does not have a way with words. <laughs> this is rough. However, it's a balance. I'm not like a grammar god. When I read The Elements of Style by Strunk and White in my <laughs> in my sophomore year high school English class, I realized I was breaking a lot of rules and I didn't commit much to memory. But one thing I do know is uh, there's, you should probably put a comma here. <laughs> there's like the wrong forms of words in here. What are you even saying? However, it's a balance. Never force, just have fun 
toying with the rejection, I would argue maybe move on <laughs> because if someone's rejecting you, your energy is better spent elsewhere. If you're one of the people that haven't applied anything in my course or my videos or anything like that, this video is not for you. This is an advanced technique. Hold on. Okay. He's like, you're not going to understand my jutsu <laughs> if you haven't taken my course. This is an advanced technique. This is for the people that have the course, have my videos. So it's, a, it's like a advertisement for his course. It's like, you've got to be careful applying these techniques because if you aren't properly certified in the art of unlocking the female mind, then you could cause permanent damage. <laughs> I think that you should just walk away, sir. This is for the people that have the course, have my videos, fucking are applying it, seeing results. Oh, so it's for no one? <laughs> if it's for someone who's taken your course and is applying it and seeing results, are the results that women are running away from him at an alarming rate, are those the results? Because I refuse to believe that there are real testimonials from the modern man. Time right now, so I'm releasing it now. You don't have to accept her rejection. The the ca captions coming up one word at a time is reminding me of those Instagram real ads I get for like how to make people with ADHD read better by downloading this one app. I was talking to a girl and she said, oh, you know, I'm not really interested. And I instead of just... <laughs> I was talking to a girl, made me think he was like in a conversation, <laughs> but normally when you're in a conversation, one person isn't trying to leave the conversation. So I was accosting a woman and she was like, please leave me alone. <laughs> it's a funny way to put it. I was talking to a girl. She wasn't talking to me. She was running away. I was talking to a girl and she said, oh, you know, I'm not really interested. And I, instead of just going, okay, and then just turning right away. Oh, instead of doing what you should have done, which would be like respecting her boundaries, which is like some beta cuck behavior, dude. You should never do that if you watch my course. An advanced technique is to not believe women when they tell you that they're not interested because there's actually a secret code that I'll tell you if you subscribe to my highest tier that you can actually unlock her like skull opens up and her brain is fully exposed. And then you can like go beep boop, beep boop, beep boop, beep boop. And then she goes, I am now in love with you. At least that it works in the video game that I'm working on right now. <laughs> and I'm hoping I can apply that to real life very soon. But before we get into that, we have a brief word from today's sponsor, Rocket Money. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that allows you to manage your subscriptions, lower your bills, create a custom budget, and grow your savings all in one app. Frankly, I have been wanting to cut down on a lot of my subscriptions, but I'm afraid to look for what I may find. But thankfully, uh, Rocket Money can help with that. They safely and securely identify recurring charges and can cancel unwanted subscriptions on your behalf. You can even do this right from the app with just a couple of taps, so you don't even need to call those annoying customer service lines. Rocket Money has helped its customers save an average of $720 a year, which adds up to over $500 million in canceled subscriptions. Rocket Money can also help you set up a budget and send you push notifications when you exceed your budget in certain categories, which is a great way to cut spending. So what are you waiting for? Get the tools you need to achieve financial freedom. Head on over to rocketmoney.com slash Jarvis Johnson that's my name, or click the link in the description to start your free trial of Rocket Money today. Thanks again to Rocket Money for sponsoring this video. Now back to your regularly scheduled me. I did this. Why would you not be interested in me? I'm the best. Absolutely the best. And she's like, oh, how? I'm like, well, I don't believe that. If he said I'm the best and she's like, well, hold on. How is he the best? Maybe I am missing out. I think she would, if he said I'm the best, like every time you see one of these pickup artists actually approaching a woman in real life, they like nervously laugh and walk away. And then they see a camera and they're like extra away and far, for, they're already running. And she's like, oh, how? I'm like, well, you'd have to come over in my house to find out. Ah, what? This is like Little Red Riding Hood. <laughs> he's like literally a wolf dressed up as an alpha, I guess. Yeah, he's like an alpha dog. And he's like, you'll just have to come to my house. I have cookies and treats. I don't bite teeth clearly showing you'd have to come over in my house to find out and you'd also have to be okay with kink and you you you'll have to come to my house that's already no obviously and then you'll have to be okay and so now he's listing his demands and he's trying to trick her by uh making her think that she he's the harvard of of men where I, he has a really low acceptance rate and lots of things that she has to do like um volunteer and, and um, have a really high GPA and SAT score and uh, 
<laughs> have legacy admission. Someone she knows has to have attended the, the school of Alpha Dom in order for her to get in to his home to do kink stuff. Oh God, Dom, I just wanna do kinky stuff with you. I wasn't interested two seconds ago. But now I want it. And you'd also have to be okay with kink, and you'd also have to be okay with my mastery of the ropes and the fact that I have multiple women. And... <laughs> <laughs> it's so clearly like a fucking character. Andrew Tate can sell this message because he's like smoking a cigar inside of a Bugatti, and he's like, "Don't, don't you, you, you'll want to be like me. What color is your Bugatti?" This guy's in like a fucking Honda Civic, talking about he's mastered ropes. Don't mind all the women who I've tied up with my ropes, actively in 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 my sex dungeon. This is like somebody gave their D and D DM the the secret, <laughs> and and put them on like a fucking, gave them a YouTube Shorts algorithm. And now they're fucking role playing as if they were the the Riz God. <laughs> Actually, maybe, maybe not. Maybe, maybe you uh, you wouldn't be the best for me. Right, because now he's rejecting you. <laughs> he's basically like, oh no, you don't want to date me. Well, actually, I'm better, and I have all the sex with all the women. Don't you want to be involved with all the women that I have in my home? D you don't know, but maybe we're not the best. Yeah, we're not the best for each other. Guess I'm just gonna go back to my dungeon of women that I'm sleeping with at all times or whatever. You can't fire me, I quit. <laughs> Actually, maybe, maybe not. Maybe, maybe you, uh, you wouldn't be the best for me. And now I did turn it around at the end, but I could have left that part out and still got her to start bantering back and forth, and she did. <laughs> You've activated my trap card. Mirror force. I'm rubber and you're glue. Whatever you reject to me bounces off of me, and now I'm rejecting you. <laughs> she started going back and forth with me, and I started building attraction in that because now... She started going back and... He's acting like he, like, tripped up her, like, NPC AI. She was like, she didn't know what to do. And then I started, uh, I started farming her for XP. She started going back and forth with me and I started building attraction in that because now I had sidestepped her fucking rejection. I sidestepped her rejection? Like he's fucking in Street Fighter? <laughs> oh man, dude, I perfect parried her rejection. Dude, I fucking full comboed that girl. And now she's my wife. Keep in mind, I didn't force it. I didn't say, no, no, you're no. I just played into her little fucking game. I knew she was playing with me a little bit. What do you mean played into her little fucking game? She's like, leave me alone. And you're like, ah! a game. I will crack this cryptic code, much like the Da Vinci codes. Remember that book? <laughs> that was a wild time. Imagine applying that to like other aspects of life. Sorry, we're closed today. Hmm, a riddle. I'll use my hammer to break the glass and I guess you're not closed because I'm inside the building and you're arresting me. Oh no. <laughs> oh gosh. I may have lost the battle, but the game master will win the war. Telling men to do this makes it more dangerous for women to soft reject a guy to save, to try to protect his feelings because now they're going to think it's a bit of a game. Because now you've told them that the most common rejection, which is the oh, no thanks, I'm not interested, which is nice, or the I have a boyfriend or whatever is actually not a rejection. It is, leave them alone. Instead, you, you, you're you supposed to continue pestering them and start monologuing about your sex dungeon with your ropes? I don't think so. Uh, Buster Brown, what is your name? Alpha Dom. <laughs> I knew she was playing with me a little bit or just kind of disengaging and I gave her a little bit of fun. You want to know what I did with her later? I don't want to know what you did with her later. Don't smile like that at me ever again. What the hell? And I gave her a little bit of fun. I don't think you gave her a little bit of fun. I think what you gave her was a fight or flight response where she does not feel safe around you. I don't recommend that to anyone because you've escalated the situation and made someone feel uncomfortable. You wanna know what I did with her later? Nothing, because she left. <laughs> and this is all a farce, dude. This is like 50 shades of dread. <laughs> Something is up, everybody, because this video has 220,000 views and 157 likes. Did somebody view bot? <laughs> Something is afoot. All right, so he's in the outfit. We all know the outfit. He's dressed like Cool Jarvis. He's a fan, clearly. Stole my whole drip, bro. Hola, señores and señoritas. All right, guys, so... <laughs> I'm uh, ashamed to say that maybe he's growing on me. <laughs> no, just kidding. This is so fucking cringe. What is happening? Down below. First get the course, and then down below, follow my new account.
Cool. Happy Valentine's Day. I'm probably fucking with six girls right now as I post this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait. This might be parody. Wait, this might be satire. Did you hear the last thing he said? I think he said at the very end, really quietly, I'm probably fucking six girls as I post this. Happy Valentine's Day. I'm probably fucking with six girls right now. This. Happy Valentine's Day. I'm probably fucking like six girls as I post this. This has to be satire. How long have you been in your relationship? Ships. Four of my six girls, years. The other two, about a year. Homie is role playing. For sure, for sure. A lot of people have asked this question and uh, they've never asked it respectfully, so I've always ignored it. But it's finally been asked respectfully, so I will answer. When I first started TikTok, I had a rule that I didn't want any of my girls on social media, especially TikTok. I know what TikTok is, I know people are. And so I didn't want any of my girls on. Are the girls in the room with us right now? I love that he's always wearing a seatbelt, though, dude. That's a safe case. It's so that he can strap in before he blows your freaking mind with all of his tips. A lot of my girls wouldn't want to be on either because they have careers. He's saying my girls like in a in a like Andrew Tate way. Like he's like a, I own these women type way. He's like TikTok, it's a cesspool. I don't want any of my girls on there. Uh, and of course, me as their master and owner uh, of these objects can control what they have. Wouldn't want to be on either because they have careers like they're a lawyer or a doctor or like they're high powerful women. Lawyers and doctors are all over TikTok, but I just don't believe him. I don't think he's dating six lawyers and doctors. I I have to say it. There's lots of reasons. There's lots of tells. Uh, the biggest tell is that they don't. It's very convenient for them to not want to be in the videos because you could just make up these people in your head that don't necessarily want their clients, their employers, their employees, and in some cases, some of them. Some of them are large business owners. Some of them, the CEOs of Fortune 500 companies, and they all come back to Dom to get tied up in my ropes and experience my sex mastery. <laughs> Knowing that, that they're submissive. It's just so funny because it's so unbelievable. And on the internet, you people are not gonna take your word for it. So that's why I feel like he's, it's just satire. Knowing that, that they're submissive. But Brat really wanted to do it. And Brat really wanted to do it. Is that the name of one of his girls? She, at first, when she first said like, hey, can I be in your, some of your TikToks? I'm like, hey, no, no offense, nothing against you, but people will rip you apart. Like you're with me, it's, it's not. People will rip you apart. This video has 10 comments, which is again, like I got lured in. I thought this creator was larger than they, than they were because they um, must be botting their content. And it's like, okay to tell like your fun little lies, um, your pretty little lies, your alpha, except for alpha though. <laughs> Over time, she wore me down and I didn't want her to feel like I wasn't proud of her or I wasn't. The reason this guy always records his videos in his car with his seatbelt on is because he's in a rush. He has to speed away from the scene of the crime as soon as he records one of these in order to uh, make it to all of his dates with his 12 girlfriends. Happy to show her and I made a negotiation. I said, oh, I can come on one of my lives, but you gotta wear a mask. Wear a mask, that's two turnt Tony core. Convinced me to take down the mask, and that's when it first started. Wait, but what about the, I thought that's what the point of the mask is. I thought all women wear a mask and they need a confident man to be able to see through that mask. So, I mean, if you can't see through your girl's mask, then are you the alpha that you say you are? This is my girlfriend. I know you guys can't tell, but like I can see through her mask, but she wears it for the public because I don't like to have other fellas like looking at my girl. I just find it disrespectful. Trash is her name or Garby for short. We call her Garby. Garby was going to come on this video, and but she actually, uh, her dog ate her homework. Um, she's in, she's doing her third PhD right now. So she was not able to make it. Um, but I can see through her mask, so it like doesn't even matter if she wears it. Anyway, shout out to a real queen, Garby. She's one of 15 of my, my women. I have each of them in little pokeballs um, and I let them out to go to do their little classes and their little jobs. They're like the CEO of Coke and like Google and whatever, but they all do submit to Dommy Daddy, that's me. I'm thinking about starting a TikTok where I give men advice because I feel like not enough men know how to be a Dommy Daddy, like a uh, Dommy Daddy Jarvie baby. I think it's finally time for me to just like release some of my codes, release some of my cheat codes, kind of be like a game shark or like an action replay for men, so to speak. One of my other girls, um, is a lawyer. Everybody knows if a lawyer is on camera, then they automatically lose all of their court cases. It's a well-documented content law. So in order to save the lives 
of all of her clients, she can't be on the stream. So I, I think I'm a bit of a saint or a hero because she was ready to jump on the stream and I was like, no babe, you've got to save lives. And she was like, I guess you're right, but I just really want to be on the stream so that people know that you're not making up the stuff about dating 15 women and uh, becoming a billionaire playboy philanthropist. And I'm like, no, the people get it. <laughs> They get it, they know. <laughs> they know I'm the real deal, so. Don't even worry about that, babe. Anyway, uh, rest in peace, uh, or whatever you say to women. <laughs> One of my girls is really good at digital art. She drew it. Granted, it was when I had more hair, but I like it and made it the face of the brand. Huh? <laughs> One of my girls is really good at digital art, so she drew this. Granted, it was when I had more hair, but I like it, and so I made it the face of the brand. A creator with, a, what, I think 1.3 million viewers said that I had no girls, and Brat jumped into my defense and commented on her video, yeah, he does, to which she made a video saying that she was a bot account and then doxed her by telling her where one of her places of work are. How can you simultaneously be a bot and have a job? <laughs> I guess on Twitter, if you just type, I'm having issue with my MetaMask wallet, <laughs> you'll get a bunch of bots that are like, oh, um, just email me, I'll take your money. I mean, I'll help you. When you tell somebody my place of work is a bot, this is who you're doxing. If he really sells a course though, then he's full grifter and none of this is satire and it doesn't count. Also, it's still, e <laughs> if you never reveal that it's satire, then it's, and no one gets that it's satire, then it's still bad. Like boiling down what that woman did. And Brat was kind of cautious for a little bit. You'll see it if you watch the podcast. Yeah, I'm gonna buy his course. One char time charge of $10. $10. Okay, so I recorded this video a couple of weeks ago. I just went to check to get a screenshot of his like course page. I paid $10 for the class, but now he is charging $197. This is a, this is a sham. This is a scam. I recorded all of this criticism under the impression that he was charging $10, which I thought was too much for his class. Please check your email for the registration link. If you can't find it, check your spam folder. I have not received the email. Wow. He was in my spam folder. He knew. He was was like, I know what I am. I'll show up in your spam. So I felt on the fence about talking about this guy because of the size of his actual audience. He is inflating, almost definitely inflating the size of his, uh, of his content. The, the engagement just isn't there. The likes just aren't there. The views, hundreds of thousands of views, but like not very much actual engagement. So before I moved forward with this, I wanted to make sure that he was truly committed to the grift. And so I bought the course and now I'm going to look at the course and see if it's for real, because if all of this is actually for real, then you're, it's fair game. <laughs> I, I feel, I feel, cause this is just robbing people and lying to them. Well, 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 somebody's in their car. You know why people are in their car? Cause they don't have to fucking clean their room. <laughs> because if you saw these people living in their actual living spaces, they would not seem so alpha. You know what I'm saying? If you saw their like Wolf of Wall Street poster on the wall with no frame, then you would know for sure what you were getting yourself into. So I'm watching his videos because I paid for the course. <laughs> I think I'm the only person who paid for his course. Module two, module three, body language, pacifying behavior, nerves and anxiety, vocal tone, emotional intelligence, cocky funny why it works, cocky funny how to use it. Hoflation. Hoflation is the belief that when your grandmother or grandfather or great grandfather or great grandmother were younger and they met, he had to work way less than you have to work today in order to get a girl that's four times less than what your great grandmother. Your <laughs> four, the, hold on, <laughs> there's, two, there's more math than I was expecting. Let me take some notes. Four times less. You have to work four times harder. This is how I'm gonna I'm gonna blow the lid off this in front of you right now. Okay, this is how you know this is a beta wussy. Poor me saying. Okay. The word work is in it. Okay. Work work is for pussies. The complaint is you have to work four times harder. Men are too worried about putting work in. Obviously you're here. Obviously you're watching the course, so you're a little bit different. I'm a little bit different. Thank you. Hoflation is good. You can be massively different if you apply it though. You can join the fucking 1% club that I'm in. What club is that? That he has six girlfriends that he dominates or whatever? I am single, so I do need to, I guess I should take better notes. So that's the big discrepancy. It's not that all women are bad. It's just that girls are looking for the best that they can get. And it's you. Did I get it? Do I pass? Girls want the best that they can get. 
and it's this guy. And that's why I'm single. Uh, I think I figured it out. We're all in a day's work. You see it all the time. You can literally like turn on the news. These girls that had everything paid for them, their husband was disconnected and working all the time. And he's like, oh, I'm, I'm providing for her. And the girl leaves. <laughs> and that's on the news. Local woman leaves man who was giving her everything. More at 11. Your focus should be more on creating emotions and feelings in her than trying to buy her. You have to create the emotions and feelings in her. Now you love me. Like connection and build attraction in her, then she will ever like a guy who just pays her shit. Right. That's like a terrible choice. You're like a guy who she likes and has a connection to and enriches her life versus a guy who is a, a glorified credit card. <laughs> like what's the, what's the choice there after getting close to me they want to start building something they want to build a business or they want to build a nonprofit or become better up in their careers and stuff like that a my frame changes women my frame makes women start nonprofits. the d goes crazy dude it makes them want to yearn for the higher positions in their career every single one of these modules is like him yapping without any editing all in his car with the seatbelt on over a few different days with various levels of, of facial hair. It like starts off and he's like pretty clean cut and then he grows a beard through it. So I assume he's been sitting in his car for the past two weeks. Be able to know how to handle and offend something that's a, that's offend, that, have, uh, that has offended them. So the videos are highly edited and um, you can tell that a lot of work really went into the production, which makes your $10 really feel like it was well spent. I'm gonna pay again, actually. I'm gonna sign up for a second round. I flub lines all the time, by the way. I just cut them out, but there's no editing done in these videos. So it's a glorified stream that's been cut into parts and sold for $10. You get much more value on the Sad Boys Patreon, which is available for as low as $5. And we put an hour long episode out every week. We've put out 55, as of the recording of this, 55 episodes of Sad Boys Nights. We will not teach you about hoflation. We will not teach you how to get six girlfriends, but we will teach you how to have a good time with your pal. The only reason I actually bring that up, I I did give myself a, a little plug, I'll always be plugging. But the reason I bring that up is because I even feel so self-conscious about selling anything um, that $5 for the like, you know, 55 episodes and counting of the episodes, you can just pay $5 once, get every episode for, and then you pay $10 for 26 minute videos that are all basically one video just chopped up. I'm like, okay, maybe I shouldn't be too hard on myself. Okay. So I bought the course. I've learned a lot. I do think that more or less, it doesn't matter if he's living the life he says he is. So it's fun to meme about how he's lying, but who cares? I just think the content's bad. And that's like my main thing. Whatever. Don't harass the guy. Uh, but also he, it's this. He's just saying the same thing everyone else is saying. And he's doing the same grift. And apparently he has six girlfriends. So congrats, I guess. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you at my, at my alpha male course that I'll be starting next week. Just wait.